Welcome back everyone. It's been a while since our last Bitcoin and crypto TA video where I update you my stance on the market where I think we're heading next. So we're going to do that today. It all starts off with this uh, candle right here which tells us the future. You see this candle? Okay. What a lot of people don't realize because they don't know how to read the charts is this is an inverted Satoshi's butthole candle. And what an inverted Satoshi's butthole candle actually means is that the market is about to take a shit. And a lot of you have absolutely no clue because you're staring at the screen without the knowledge of how to read charts, and I feel bad for you. All right, that was a joke. All seriousness, let's get into it, guys. I'm highly bullish here in the short term. If you haven't seen the last video where I said that, then, you know, you missed it. But this, to me, is a bottom. Okay, this, to me, is a bottom. Let me show you why. Look at that volume right here. All right, we've tried to go lower now for how long? Two months now, we've tried to go lower, and we've been unable to break lower. And so when you see that volume come in, to me, that clearly uh, resembles a bottom in crypto in the short term. Now, let me take you out to my magic chart uh, here, if I can find it, and let me show you what I think is really going to happen overall, though, right? So let's find this chart out here. So, I mean, obviously, we're making the lower highs. We're making the higher lows. And I think we're getting ready to, we, we've been coiling up, right? All the energy inside of here, we've been coiling up and we're getting ready to rip out to 46 to 52K in my opinion is where I think Bitcoin is going. So your first target in Bitcoin right now is 46K. Your second target is 52K. Okay, 46K obviously being the easiest target to achieve. It's closest and, you know, we're not that far off in my opinion. So those are two targets in Bitcoin, 46K and 52K to upside. I do not think we're going to crash lower or break down right now. That being said, if you don't st you know, watch through this video, you're about to get screwed. Okay, This is what I think is overall going to happen in Bitcoin. Okay, We're overall going to start trending upwards slightly. Okay, I'm still trying to find this chart that I, that I have where I drew my drawing. And I sent this out to OG100. I sent this. Boom, here it is, baby. All right, you see this, guys? So we have this upward momentum and tr a slight uptrend I believe we're going to see for the next month or two where price is going to be bullish price is going to move in this direction but overall I do think we will collapse lower but later okay but truly you know the war is a very bullish thing for Bitcoin okay because it kind of delays the severity at which we need to uh, raise rates at right and so that's why I think war is highly bullish for Bitcoin overall and that's why I think uh, this actually sets us up for a perfect, you know, bullish month or two or three here. And so at the end of the day, why am I confident we're still going to go down at 26,000, which is my target in Bitcoin? The reason I'm confident is because we have the head and shoulders uh, right here, okay, which gives us that target down to 26K, right? So if you don't know how that's calculated, I know you may think this is stupid. How does a chart it's supposed to tell you how, how far Bitcoin's going to go? Um, but it just, this is how it works. So actually I've already got it drawn up. So 26 K right there is the target. And so as long as we remain below the neckline of the head and shoulders, I believe that this is still our target. I believe we still will go down to 26 K. But once again, you got to face the facts objectively. We've tried to break down lower now for two months and we've been unable to, the volume is coming in and it's coming in strong. And to me, it's a clear short term bottom. All right, and if you refuse to see that, then what do you have to say about this volume? What do you have to say about the stock market now rallying? What do you have to say about the bullish cross that we're about to get, right? And so to me, if you cannot say, or if you remain fully bearish here, then you're not looking at the upside potential here. It is there. And like we've said before, in bear markets, we see Bitcoin bounce massively all the time. So Let's go back to 2018. You're going to see here, okay, Bitcoin had like four major uh, bear market bounces. So you can see this dump, it bounced in the bear market 80%. Okay, here it bounced, you can see, 52%. Here's a bear ma market bounce, it bounced 44%. Here's a bear market bounce, it bounced 24%. All right, so on average, you're saying Bitcoin will bounce 40 to 90 percent in a bear market so let's go back to today okay and you understand like all right a bear market bounce 
is not that crazy. We're still making lower highs. Even if we bounce 90% from the low, this is still a lower high. Check that out. Right? We'd be at 62K. So the absolute best case scenario is 62K Bitcoin. I don't think we're going to get to 62K in my opinion, but just looking at 2018 and understanding that the bear market bounces usually range from 40 to 90%, that's your best case scenario for this bear market, which would still be a lower high, right? Now, let's take the average, which is about 40% bear market bounce, and that gets us right up to 46K, which is what, guys? I told you that was my first target uh, breaking out of this triangle uh, to the upside, right? So, like I said, we've been coiling up all this energy. We have now uptrending energy as well. And so, like I said, we're, we're coiling up for a move uh, to continue higher, okay? And the first target's 46K right there, which is, like I said, right here, okay? The, uh, I lost my train of thought, guys, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so 46K is also very close to the head and shoulders neckline, which is this red line right here. Okay, and so this is starting to look a little messy. All right, but once again, a 40% bounce from the low gets you where? To the neckline. What do we know about bear market bounces? They are usually 40%. So boom, that 40% bear market bounce takes you right to the neckline, which is a perfect rejection at resistance for a continuation to the downside. Second, Let's say we get above 40% bear market bounce. I think that's where our second target comes in is 50K to 52K. Okay, overall, I think that we still are going to come lower and mostly is because of that head and shoulders, right? You can say it's because of the economic outlook, economic conditions, because of interest rates, because of this, because of that. At the end of the day, okay, the charts is going to uh, move according to that. And so to me, the charts tell me, like, no matter what happens later this year, the charts already kind of show that. And so that's what this head and shoulders is, is it takes into consideration all news. It takes into consideration almost everything, you know, besides maybe, I don't know, nuclear war or something, you know, crazy. Like, you know, it, you know, the charts already show and factor everything into a certain extent. So that's why if you can read the charts, you don't need to know, all right, what's going to be the direct result of, you know, the third interest rate hike or the fourth interest rate hike. Like, we don't need to know what the exact result of that is going to be. We just need to focus on the chart now, and it's going to be able to, you know, if we read it, I don't know. Some of you just don't get it. You just don't get it. You only focus on the news, and that's why I don't know what to say to you guys. But anyways, that's what I see for the market here for the next month or two. We're not going to crash lower, in, uh, in my opinion, now. Uh, I think we're going to continue higher in this direction. See this arrow? We're going to continue higher in this direction. And so basically we have the constant and uprising support uh, from the lows. Okay, but don't forget about that head and shoulders neckline, which is resistance right here. So we're, we're basically coming up, okay, with two resistance with the support. Okay, and we're going to converge here. Resistance is going to meet support, okay, up here. And that's when I believe we're going to make that swift move lower later okay so in the short term highly bullish um i do believe we're going to see bitcoin get up to 46k and so uh, that's why you saw in my last video we longed the hell out of the bitcoin pump we made about six thousand dollars so i think the next target is up there uh 46k so we'll see if i'm right or we'll see if i'm wrong i do believe that that's where we're going and um like i said if i'm wrong we're going to see that but I'd rather give you a real opinion than sugarcoat and say, hey, it can go up, down, sideways, inwards, or outwards. I'm telling you, for the next one to two months, I'm bullish. But I do believe that as resistance meets support, as economic uncertainty, and as all these economic conditions and factors such as interest rates, war, and all these things collide in within a month or two is where we're going to meet that converging point in which price fades and falls lower. But... We'll adjust if needed because if price can get above this uh, head and shoulders neckline, then there's a solid chance that the bear market is over. So we're going to find out. We're going to adjust. At the end of the day, guys, we trade this market, okay? We trade this market, and, and so we, we were just long, guys. We just longed the pump, and now we just shorted uh, the pump, right? So we longed the pump, and then we shorted the pump. And, and here we just made a little bit off of the short side, but I actually just closed out short because I don't really want to be too short right now uh, in this market just because it, I don't I don't like the energy. I'd rather be longing this market as of now. Uh, so 
I've sent out tons of messages to our crash trading telegram alerts guys if you want to join the telegram alerts where we are trading both ways long and short right so like I said yesterday we just made six thousand dollars longing the Bitcoin pump well today we shorted and we didn't make that much money on the short side see you can see I was actually up ten thousand dollars on the long side yesterday okay and then I only ended up making around six thousand dollars right so you can see here I close out and you can actually watch yesterday's video this was my long uh, trade right so we just longed the market yesterday for a fifty nine hundred dollar profit and today we shorted Ethereum and initially we made thirteen hundred and I ended up taking uh, giving back a little bit of my gains and so I'm only up around six hundred on the day so far uh, so it's a Saturday if you're in the crash trading alerts, you guys know I don't like to trade on Saturday anyway, so, uh, you know, it's an extra 600, whatever. Okay, the point is, I'm trying to get across to you, is we go long and short, right? Yesterday we made $6,000 on the pump, and today we made $600. Yeah, I know it's not a lot of money, but we made $600 on the short side. The point I'm trying to make is we go both ways. So whether the market goes up or down, I promise you we are going to be profiting in the crash trading Telegram channel, and you can join it down below if you are a leveraged day trader. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Make sure you are subscribed. If you're a trader, I hope to see you in the alerts with us. And that being said, I hope you enjoyed this legitimate answer, like a definitive concrete answer of what I think is going to happen. I am bullish short term for the next one to two months. Obviously, I'm going to keep you up to date if anything changes, right? And then I think we're going to collapse slower later. I'm not saying it can go up, down, sideways, inwards, or outwards. No, I am saying I think we are going up for a month or two, and then we are crashing lower later. So I don't want to hear any bullshit about, <laughs> fuck you, all right? Bye.